Last year, Green Bay voters supported a referendum that allowed more than $68 million to go to public schools in the area that needed building improvements. It helps improve school security, expand schools that are over capacity, and takes care of other needs. Now, while some schools are expanding in the district, at least one will be over capacity this year. Alexandra Burnley live now at one of the schools in Green Bay to explain. Alexandra? I'm at Eisenhower Elementary where construction crews have been busy all summer finishing its expansion just in time for school. Now eight schools in the district are getting multi-million dollar expansions, but one school, Preble High School, is over capacity, but it's not on the list. Eight schools are expanding not because more people are moving to Green Bay. Rather, a task force found more families are relocating from the west side to the east side. The county and the city told the school district that more new developments are being built on the east side, likely sparking families' interest to want to move there. And so that may mean that we have more families moving out to those new developments, but then um, creating under capacity issues in maybe some other schools. The school district has been renting a building that serves as its early learning center for 4K and kindergarten students the past few years to handle the overflow. With the elementary schools expanding, students will be able to return to the schools that are closer to home. And this referendum will allow those um, four and five year old kindergarten students to go back to their home school and stay at those schools throughout um, their elementary years until fifth grade. The school that is expected to be 260 students over capacity this year is Preble High School. Preble has more than 2,100 students. You know, how Preble has dealt with the overcrowding is that they have used some of the spaces that weren't originally designated as classrooms, like resource areas and breakout rooms that they're now using as classrooms. There's no clear solution for the swelling student population at Preble. A referendum to build a new high school failed during the economic recession. Preble has been a priority for the district from the standpoint of we want to make sure, again, that all students have you know, appropriate and adequate learning spaces and that we have equitable opportunities across the district. Um, but I do think that at Preble, they've done an outstanding job, both the staff and students, of really uh, making the space that they have there work for them. Eisenhower Elementary and Webster Elementary have gotten air conditioning for the first time in their buildings because of this referendum. Live in Green Bay, Alexandra Burnley, Local 5 News.